Hi, this is George from Upfish, your marketing automation expert. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can become a top voice on LinkedIn in just five minutes a week using automation and AI. Uh, this will give you that little badge on your LinkedIn profile. And uh, because all the answers are AI generated, I don't see any problem in using AI to generate responses. It's all about volume, really. Uh, so for example, here it says, I just need to contribute three more articles in this particular skill to become a top voice. And I don't really give any thought into my answers. So I put together a system that just basically makes it incredibly easy and automated. The first stage is to essentially create a list of, um, uh, of, of, of topics that you want to become an expert in. So to do that, we're making a HTTP request to a Google search. Uh, so for example, uh, if I just copy this one here, I am searching site colon linkedin.com slash advice and then in the brackets i've put automation and then in fachamentas this is portuguese for tools so in the tools section just change it to the last week i get a whole bunch of these uh, topics for example this one that have come up in the last week and i just copy the url at the top and i put it into the http request here again if you wanted to if you wanted to make this even more complex you could put them all you can make 10 of these lists put them into an air table so your air table is the first module and then it will call all 10 of those particular search results so very, very easy to do. Once you do that, you get the data that's requested and it's just basically a whole bunch of information. The search results, what we need to do is get the actual search results. So we have a regex here, uh, which is just looking for any of these links with LinkedIn and you'll get the uh, individual results back here. Uh, so http.com, uh, linkedin.com slash advice. Here's how you become successful, process something. Uh, you'll see it always ends in these characters. So number three has gone wrong. I've made a mistake in my regex. So I'll look back after I've made this video to see how this can be improved. But out of the 10 results, it looks like only one of them has uh, screwed up. Um, so that's a strange one. Uh, something's gone wrong here. I I'll look into that later. But basically the next result after that is to get the information of the of the actual page. So something like this. So we just take the uh, we just take the link and we put it into a, um, a another HTTP module. So then now we have the uh, the actual information, the titles, all of this and uh, we have what we need to start answering it. So if you're being sincere about this, you want people to get your actual advice, your actual knowledge, and you wanted to write manual stuff, again, it's only five minutes a week, we just send a Slack message. Um, so I just send a Slack message to a channel, write a response to this, I put in the link, and it means every week I have a list of 10 links, open it up, two minute, blah, 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 put out an answer, move on to the next one, move on to the next one. I've done 10 in five minutes. Uh, if you don't have time for that five minutes, well, we've got AI to be our friend. So you would disable this route and you would use the auto suggestion route. What we next have then is a text parser. So what this is going to do is essentially put HTML to text. I'm just you're taking the whole data and putting it into a text. Now, I only made this in 10 minutes because I basically the story behind this is I was on LinkedIn. I had five people in a row telling me I'm so excited to announce I'm a top voice. And I thought this could be automated. I spent five minutes building this. Actually, it's not very complex at all. Uh, one of the downsides of that is I didn't put a lot of effects, uh, a lot of thought into the text parser. If I, if I really wanted to improve this and if you want to customize it, uh, you would look at the HTTP result, uh, the HTML results and you would figure out the rejects for like the master title, the seven individual titles here and the little descriptions behind it so that you get less data. Uh, I couldn't be bothered with that. So you'll see here the whole HTML string in this case gets turned into still a pretty long text string, but it has most of the information I want in it. So uh, we see here, for example, stand out for promotion with process automation expertise. So the next step is to send this all into uh, an AI. Um, so I'm using just a normal chat completion because I don't take this very seriously. If you wanted to take it seriously, you would use an assistant. So you create an assistant, um, you would give it access to your files of LinkedIn writing style, the FAQs of your business, your value proposition, your, your thoughts, your whole philosophy, your, your, your raison d'etre for your particular topic but I'm not taking it seriously so I'm using just a normal chat and I give it a fairly simple instruction you are a marketing automation expert I'll provide HTML code summarizing a LinkedIn page inviting people for their opinions on a subject analyze the code and figure out the likely topic then the likely subtopics pick one of these to form an answer to make the answer very sarcastic uh, use my notes below as the guiding philosophy for these answers and then obviously I tell it output the results in a JSON so at the bottom here as well response format JSON object and uh, I put the result, basically I, I make the format subtopic and then the answer, and then I provide it with the data. Underneath, I, for an example, my philosophy, work backwards, have a clear business objective, document everything. If I was doing this more seriously, this would be much more thought out. Um, it probably would only take you 10 minutes to do this well. And after you've done those 10 minutes doing it well, you never need to look at it again. But again, I just wanted to get this built quickly, see if it was possible, so it's not 
the most robust uh, answering scheme. But in any case, it takes that information, gives me answers, and then it puts it into a JSON parser. So if I take one, for example, from here, the subtopic is stay adaptable. My answer, oh, stay adaptable, they say, is if anyone can magically transform into an omnipotent sage, you can foresee every single technological advancement and business need change. Sure, I'll just read every emerging. Again, I put the worst possible prompt in, but we see it is still giving me the results. So at that point, all I need to do, same as before, put this into an Airtable or a Slack or an email, some sort of a place where every week I can look at it, get the information. So in this case, it's a Slack where I give it the link, the subtopic and the answer. So I get the information and I can just copy and paste it in with my edits. So if I look at my Slack to show you what this looks like, oh, where is my Slack? Gosh, I don't have my Slack open. That was embarrassing. Let's get it open. Slack. Okay, so here's an example. I get a notification to say rewrite this in post. The topic is on how you can break free from career stagnation. Subtopic upskill regularly, and I'll just copy and paste this information in. So if I copy this link, come to my Google Chrome, put it in. This is the link to the topic. There is a subtopic called upskill regularly. Here it is. In today's fast post world of process automation, staying current with the latest trends and technologies is crucial. And then I can just take this, copy it, put it in. And I have here the answers. Oh, because everyone has endless hours in the data object of school, right? Let's just cancel all our plans. Somebody's about to even sleep to keep up with the new tools and programming language. So like we have Eliza side of this. Thank goodness for online courses. And I can practically learn about RPA at 3 a.m. making myself more valuable. Can't think of a better way to enjoy my nights. Again, not a very good output because it wasn't a very good input. I would have to improve the prompt. But imagine if you did take that extra five minutes to improve the prompting. Doop -doop -doop. This takes you 10 seconds to do. You do 10 a, 10 a day, 10 a week, and you'll become a top voice in no time, which means that you will have that amazing little badge of authenticity, uh, which no one will ever check. So the big advantage of this is when people see you are a top voice for a subject, they're not going to then go through all of your article posts to make sure it's true. They will just assume it is true, which gives you a great amount of authenticity when you're doing any kind of LinkedIn outreach. I don't know much about top voices. I assume it also gives some sort of a, a boost algorithmically to your organic content. I have no idea. Uh, but it's still pretty cool. So this, again, very, very, very easy automation to put together. Really, really easy to customize. And again, I would recommend definitely customizing the prompt. And once it's done, it's done. Every week, five minutes a week, and you'll become a top voice easily before the end of the month. All right, thank you. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, like, subscribe, comment. I'll put this up for free, not for free, but I'll put it in my school. So you can join my school community, get this JSON, and actually put it to good use. All right, thank you so much for your time. Goodbye.